So what what, uh, what interest do you want with this team? Uh, just a new arena, new arena, new buzz. Uh, uh, all the acquisitions they, they, they started to get, uh, bringing Darren back, Joe Johnson, Gerald, uh, and it just looks like a new young team with a, a new new focus, new new energy, and uh, ready to go. Um, Dar Darren called you, right, mm -hmm. during the free agency process. Can you tell us what that conversation was like? And did that put you over the top in terms of wanting to come here, or is that mm -hmm. part, of, part of what was the motivation? Yeah, with him and Avery calling me, uh, just expressing their interest and uh, telling me tell, telling me how much they want me to be here uh, was a big big thing for me to sign. And uh, I played with Aaron before uh, in 2002 in the USA during college. So it was it was uh, just big of him to call and express his interest. And then that was probably the deciding factor. What about uh, Coach Avery and his offensive and defensive system makes you think he can fit on the court? Uh, I think his, his up-tempo style uh, fits me perfect. And uh, with him playing sometimes two point guards at the same time, maybe me and Darren. And uh, uh, that's, I, I remember watching him last year. They played him and Jordan a lot together. So I think he'll do that. And then uh, with just him being a great coach, uh, played, in the, played in the league, point guard also. So it's good to learn from him. You played on a team that with the best record in the East. Um, how does, when you look at this roster right here, how does, where do you think can, this team can finish? Uh, I think uh, at least one and two, one or two. I think it's a uh, big expectations, but I think it's something that we can do. What is, I mean, obviously, you know, along those lines, you played with Derek last year. You know, mm -hmm. comparing him and Darren. You know what? Uh, you know, and I know you have experience playing with Darren. You know, do you think those guys are on the same level? Uh, I think so. I always thought Darren was uh, the best point guard in the league. Uh, Always playing against him and uh, watching him, and he's always one of the toughest players. When everyone asks me who's the toughest point guard, I always say him. So it's uh, between him and D Rose, it's uh, pick your poison. Why do you Why do you say he was the toughest? Uh, because he can do everything. He can pass. He can shoot. He's a true point guard. He can lead the team. Doesn't really have to score. Uh, he does a lot of things on the court. You gonna get in trouble with Derek? Probably not. No. <laughs> I read something, you, you have a documentary coming out or it came out or something? Uh, it came out yesterday, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where can we find that? Uh, on my website, I think, uh, cjwatson32.com. Been well received so far? Yeah, it's been pretty good. I first uh, viewed it at my basketball camp we have every year, so was, the kids liked it, so it's all that mattered. <laughs> <laughs> you talked about the title and why it was called that? Uh, the bench mob or? No, no, the title of the documentary. Oh, uh, this girl that I met in Chicago, she just, uh, a journalist, she just decided to to call it that. Uh, I mean, it was basically her idea. She just came and followed me around a couple of days in, in Vegas during the lockout. So. Is that your nickname? Why it's Yeah, yeah, it is. My sister gave it to me when I was little. What does it mean? Uh, according to her, it's because uh, I'm quiet and shy guy, but my game hits you like a storm. It's <laughs> kind of corny, but you know. <laughs> Can't be that corny if it's stuck for this long. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs>